let's talk about the um, scientific or the very specific evidence given by Ivan Ling. It's about the acoustics. So yes. could the neighbors from 177 <coughs> meters away hear Reva screaming? This expert believes that um, it's, it's impossible. What's your take? Well, look, you've got to recreate what happened that night and that, that morning. How do you recreate that? You know, it's not like an expert coming and saying, look, I lifted a fingerprint and I compared it to somebody and I found that there are all these points of similarity and therefore it has to be his fingerprint. Or drawing blood and making a, uh, a DNA analysis saying that, that per the blood on the, uh, on the firearm belonged to a certain person and explaining why. The, the whole issue of the sound and how people uh, shout or talk uh, is, is very difficult to determine afterwards. You know, you've got to recreate what happened that night. For example, some people hear better than others. Some people, um, uh, you know, can't shout or talk the way they did six months ago. Uh, how do you kind of put that all into the, into the equation? For example, some nights you can hear sound very, very clearly. I think we can all give practical examples of that because of the wind and the temperature and, and, and factors that play a role. Other nights, you can't. Listening from the same place where the sound comes or emanates from the same place. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of it is more theoretical, I believe, and I don't know if too much weight can be attached to these tests that were done. You know, again, for example, how Oscar shouted. How do you recreate after the event how he shouted on the morning? In that moment. At that moment. And yes, I normally shout this way, but how do you normally shout? You know, you kind of, uh, and doing a test, some people will not be able to recre recreate exactly. I doubt if anybody can recreate how you spoke yesterday or the day before, or how you shouted and how you sounded at that time. You'll try and get as close to it. But what happened then? Who could have heard this? How loud could this, was the sound to have traveled a certain distance? I, I don't know, I find it very difficult for any expert to recreate exactly what happened at that moment with regard to sound. You can go and say, well, the sound of a certain music system at this kind of level is this or that, and whether it's more than what is allowed by the law, let's say in a certain area, you can't have a noisy uh, a restaurant with loud music and things like that, and go and test it at the time when it's happening. Is it less or is it more? But they're not testing at the time. They're testing many, many months after the event. So all these factors play a role and I don't believe you can recreate exactly what, um, what happened that night, how people could be heard, how loudly they spoke, how loudly Oscar shouted and whether it was him shouting sounding like a female or it was Reva shouting. So and she's not around either. So, you know, how do we have all these tests conducted to create that perfect situation where you can de determine as a fact that the sound was this or was that? Now, this acoustics report from Mr. Ivan Lin is incredibly specific and very detailed. It speaks about this decibel here and this yes. decibel there and how far it can travel. And of course, while we have a courtroom full of legal experts, they're not necessarily acoustic experts. So how does Judge Masipa and her assessors make sense of what's being presented to them? Well, obviously, the expert has to explain it in ordinary, call it layman's, language and term so that the judge can understand it. But again, you can become too technical about issues which are all very well theoretically that this decibel and that decibel and the next one and, and this what, what is one can uh, in, infer from that. But there are so many factors which, as I've said, play a role on the night and the morning in question. Could it have traveled a hundred, the voice Voices, could they have traveled 170 meters? Now, on one night, maybe they could, depending on all factors. And other, another night, maybe not, because the wind wasn't blowing in that direction or the temperature was something different. Uh, look, I'm not an expert, you're not an expert, but I think looking at it, how one views it from a practical perspective and what is the judge going to do? What inference will the judge draw from all of this to say, well, hang on, the neighbors couldn't hear a thing. Therefore, they're lying. 
Is that the deduction that she can draw from it? Or that Oscar definitely shouted sounding like a female and Reva didn't shout. So I don't believe it can go that far. It's too theoretical and you, you can't recreate exactly what took place when all of this happened.